Hello and welcome to another episode of Unique Weapons and Armor of the Wasteland. I'm your host, Outlaw0420, Priest of Azora, and in this series we go after the unique named weapons and armor in the Fallout series, including Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76. Today's unique weapon is the Problem Solver, a unique handmade rifle that we can get from the Nuka World DLC. Alright, let's head there. Alright, to get this weapon, it is part of the quest, The Ambitious Plan, which you get after completing the gauntlet in the Nuka World DLC. So you come to Nuka World, you run through the gauntlet, you complete it, you kill the overboss. If you watched last week's Unique Weapons and Armor episode, you saw me do that. Uh, this is just a continuation of that quest. Uh, we had to talk to Gage at the top of here and... Uh, We'll continue with that. Fast forward through all the burning parts until I get the weapon that we're looking for. Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar taste. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Now that you're in charge. Was that a Lion King reference? I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you. It ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Though a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. Sounds like this whole thing is a waste of time. Nope. That's bullshit. It can work. It just needs someone capable of running the show. Someone like you. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps. They'll listen to you. The pack. I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. 
You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. All right, now we'll go and talk to the pack and get our weapon. When you're doing this, make sure you have a high enough charisma. Take meds if you need to have a high charisma, but that's probably going to be your best bet to uh, get this. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. You need help finding your place here? No. No. I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. The pack lets it all hang out. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Whatever, don't matter. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. The pack? Oh, fitting. You smell like animals. Ah, never heard that one before. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to, if you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. So what is it you want? Caps, action, something. Anything that's more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last year. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. Real story behind Gage and Coulter. Hey, I only know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I'm not Coulter. So that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack? Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. And there you go, ladies and gents, the problem solver. Increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. It is the furious legendary effect. And you get it by completing those specific speech checks. But like I said, it is very hard. You should have either max out charisma, clothing that gives you better charisma, and probably some meds that give you better charisma. Just to make sure that you pass every single one. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. 
Loyalty's a two-way street. Alright, ladies and gents, if you enjoyed finding unique named weapons and armor in the wasteland and these dulcet tones, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else the YouTube gods demand of you, like liking the video and commenting so other people can see the content. I do stream here on YouTube, so follow the channel to stay up to date with that. You can also follow me on Twitter at Outlaw0420 to stay up to date whenever I go live for streams or post new videos. And as always, remember, someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you. May Azor's glow guide you ever warmly. Bye!